Hi everybody and welcome to Josiah is Right. So Penny and I are ready. Behind us is Petco Park and behind that is Comic-Con. So we are on our way to Comic-Con. It is preview night. We're going to check it out. So we'll see you soon at the con right now. So first up, as I said, here is Petco Park, and also what you're going to see is pretty much my uncut footage. I'm just going to throw it all out there for you guys. I hope to shoot more throughout the coming few days. There's Penny, the trooper. She was awesome. She is an awesome, awesome kid and had a great time. But I will uh, edit stuff in a proper video on probably Sunday, but this is just kind of the footage I have. So you can see Rampage and the Gorilla, and there's Convention Center. And that was the, sort of the first outside thing we saw. We saw a few on the way that were actually still being finished. There was one for a purge store. I wish I would have recorded it. It was actually like a Party City style store, but it was being painted as we walked by. So I thought that was pretty crazy. It was actually still being worked on and it's Wednesday night. And So there's the convention center and the buses. Penny loves to wave at buses. I think it's because of Disneyland, but you can see the sci-fi branding, all the buses, everything is branded for something. And this is just us waiting to cross the intersection at Comic-Con. You can just see the convention center, all the people milling about. You cannot cross that point without a badge now, so it's really a lot better. It's it's really nice, actually. And these are our first shots from inside the convention center. You can see the escalator going up and the people kind of milling in. This is probably right around six o'clock, maybe just a little bit before. We were really not sure where to go. We didn't have lanyards. Uh, we had our badges, but uh, we didn't have any lanyards, so we were trying to get those, and we ended up just going straight to the convention floor without them. And a security guard did stop us and tell us we needed lanyards, but we weren't able to get them at that point because we just kind of went with the flow. We didn't try to, but we were glad to because we were able to go get a few collectibles. You can see the first shots from the floor, and I will have way more stuff. We were barely on the floor just for a little bit. We basically went in, got a couple collectibles, got out, and had dinner with Paul, which you'll see at the end. I always enjoy making friends with people online. I don't have any footage of them, but I got to talk to some people and it was fun because Penny was with me and I'm not really, even though I do these videos and I enjoy doing that and sharing, I'm not, I'm kind of anti-social actually in life. Uh, I like people, but I don't necessarily like talking to them. So uh, Penny, my dog, those kind of things are good for me to help uh, sort of socialize with others and meet people. There's the Hasbro stuff, there's Gentle Giant where I spent most of my time. So the toy stuff is kind of all in one clump and that's mostly where we were at. Actually we came into a door pretty close to that on the opposite side. So you can see people coming in there in door D. We're on the opposite side and I've never come in from that side. There's an awesome Gentle Giant. It's a Scotty Young Venom. This is a large size one. The ones that they sell are smaller. I don't think these were available at all for the convention. There was one that was the Spider Gwen that was pretty cool. We did not buy it, but it's pretty cool. And you can see across the way the Bumblebee. Penny really liked that Bumblebee. She is actually strapped to my chest as I'm filming all of this. So essentially what you guys are getting is the Penny point of view cam. So that's basically what this is. There's Penny standing in the line for Gentle Giant. Uh, Judy had already got our Ninja Turtles there from uh, NECA or Nika. I, I say NECA. Some people say Nika. Uh, I have no idea. But anyway, she then tried to run off. And here you can see her trying to knock down the wall. But those are more of the Scotty Young's things. She really, really liked those. You can obviously see there's a definite appeal to a kid. I personally like them as well. I really, really love the Cyclops one, I thought that was one of the best ones, but you can see Penny, I think she recognized Groot. She has a Groot toy, so I think she knew who Groot was and wanted it to have a Groot. We did not buy a Groot, there was not available. And here we are back on the outside once again. And once again, Penny is like waving to every bus. You can't see it, she's waving to all the buses. And actually this time I was carrying her in my arms. She kind of was over the carrier, that's why she was on the ground. She no longer wanted to be in the carrier. But I give her credit, she was in it for a long time. And uh, poor little thing was getting all sweaty next to me. But she's awesome, she's a trooper as I said. And she had a really good time. I think <laughs> people are like, oh, bring your kid to convention. It, it depends on the kid. Penny's really a go-getter. She loves to go. She's like her mom and not like me. I am a homebody. Penny loves to go. Like we said, it's time to go to the con today. She pointed to the door. She knew we were going. But here you can see sort of right at dusk, we probably stepped out at, I don't know, eight o'clock or so, maybe a little before that. I, I'm not even sure. We were maybe in the convention a total of an hour, maybe a little bit more than that. And like I said, it was basically just getting collectibles. We're going to go back for an extended period tomorrow. Tomorrow is I kind of just walk the show floor day. And then Friday, there's a few more things we want to pick up. But I just really, it's, I'm not sure if my camera's capturing it, but the light at dusk was just beautiful in the gas lamp with all the colors for Comic-Con, like everything is really just popping. You can see the background there for the, the ads for different things. It's just Everything just popped off with that light. It was just spectacular. And again, forgive any bumpiness, forgive any shakiness. You can just see some weird stuff for staff, for event stuff that's going to be going on. 
but uh, what you're seeing here, like I said, is my sort of raw, uncut footage, and uh, that's sort of the fun of it. I'll have a, hopefully, a fancier video for you guys on Sunday with way more stuff, way more shots of the floor, hopefully a lot more cosplays. I unfortunately didn't see really a single cosplay, and here we are at the field. Actually, I did see a single cosplay outside of the convention, but in the convention I didn't see anything, but that's preview night. It's not really a cosplay night. So here we are just enjoying the field. There was Penny, and um, this is one of the places we recommended. Paul and I both, we love this place. So we were happy to have Paul meet up with us. It's a great place. This Penny, is our that? favorite restaurant where's at Comic-Con. And Penny is there, and she says, have a great convention, and we'll see you around. Bye, see you guys Sunday.